Hello, Vera Shop. I'm Brittany Bertier. Welcome to my first home show. I'm doing this show completely barefaced for you today because, well, sometimes you just need to give your skin a breather and that's okay. So grab a cup of tea, hang out with me, and I'm going to show you six of my absolute favorite neutral finds on the Vera Shop app that I personally feel can elevate pretty much any style home. My home is a bit minimal. It's um, it's lots of wood color and bright white and beige and, and some green and some blue, but it's very earthy, very bright, very minimal. And um, so these certainly all go with my aesthetics. I honestly, I like to keep it simple. I'm just a simple kind of gal, but because they're neutrals, they can really elevate a traditional home. They can elevate a modern home. There are so many options when you choose neutral products. So let's just dive right in. The first thing I'm going to show you is this little Soul Terra Shop wooden soap dish. Now, I have been wanting a wooden soap dish forever because um, it just, we have like so many bars of soap in our shower and it's ridiculous and they slip and they slide and so I wanted something that not only organized it and kept it in place but looked cute as well. Since this is made of 100% wood it is very sustainable. You can see I have a little bit of like soap already stuck in it because I've been using it for a couple weeks but look how beautiful it is. It has this beautiful dark glaze over it. I originally thought I wanted something lighter but I do like the pop of this dark color in front of the white and um, it's got this nice like scooped situation here it's nice and scooped so it can sit any shape soap very easily I like to keep it right in my little inlet we have like a built-in insert in our shower so it's very easy to grab and it's just adorable during this live stream only it is seven dollars and 65 cents it's just such a good deal especially for real wood so i had to do this first because it's just it's just adorable it's just so perfect um yeah it's just my first time ordering anything from the solterra shop and i just i love this so i am a big fan um, that is the first thing I wanted to go over with you guys today. Now, the second thing, oh, this is unfortunately the Casafina Pacifica utensil holder is sold out. I am so bummed because it's beautiful. It's handmade. It's handmade stoneware. It's just so gorgeous. Um, I'm using it right now as a utensil holder in my kitchen. It's about this size, but there's really no point in lingering on it too long because it's sold out, which is such a freaking bummer. So keep an eye out for this because I'm sure it will be coming back, but I do have a different Casafina item for you today. This one is the Fatoria individual cake pan. So you're going to have to ignore the picture on it. For some reason, it's not the correct picture. Um, they are actually four of these miniature cake pans which look how freaking cute. If you look at this close detail, this is again, handmade stoneware. It's got like the little bit of speckled cottage core to it, but this really unique design and it comes in a set of four. So I imagine you can make really adorable little cakes and then cover them. What I wanna do is cover them in um, sugared strawberries or some sort of berry blend or syrup. They're so pretty. I've not cooked in these yet, but they're just so gorgeous. I had to include it. It's also a really good deal for four of these. Right now it's 55, which I feel like is a really good deal. Fine stoneware, dishwasher, oven, freezer, and microwave safe, handmade in Portugal. So gorgeous. So if you're watching this video back from um, like after the live stream, that's why I want to make sure I give you a really good look. It's gorgeous. It's about the size of my palm. 
a little smaller. Hi, Ronian, how are you? I'm going over these beautiful Casafina cakeware stone sets. It's a set of four. It has this beautiful design. They are handmade in Portugal. They are so beautiful. And I want to try making an angel food cake um, with like sugared strawberries or mixed berries over the top, something like that. Or you could actually hollow out the middle and put something in there. But I think it would be the most beautiful if the cakes were like this. So when I use this, I will make a video and put it on the feed. Thanks, Ronyan. How's your day going today? I'm having so excited to be home today. I'm not even wearing any makeup. I'm doing like work from home reset day. And that's why I'm so excited to do this home show. It's going well. Where, do you, where are you coming in from today? Where are you tuning in from today? I'm in Santa Monica, California. It's a gorgeous day. It's my dog's birthday. LA, me too. What part of LA? It's a beautiful day today. I hope you get to get outside. I just took my dog on a walk. It's his birthday today. And just trying to enjoy the simple things, which is you're also in Santa Monica? Me freaking too. Oh my gosh, we're neighbors. I could have seen you. That's so funny. Rangan, do you have a Vera Shop show too that you do? If so, let me know when I can tune into it. I'd love to support. Um, yes, but today is my stay at home, relax from home day. So I'm so excited to do this home edition. I've never done a home edition show before. So I have like a little apartment in Santa Monica, but it's very cute. And I decided to start off with some neutrals because I thought that they would be most um, useful to people from many different um, design backgrounds. No matter what your design aesthetic is, usually a neutral fits in pretty well. So let me know if you have any questions. I just went over this soap dish, which is so affordable right now. On the live, it's like $7. The white is just for my soap. Um, it's honestly the best. And it just kind of ups your aesthetic super quickly, super easily, and no more like slipping around, um, like your soap slipping around on your shower floor. And then I went over these individual cake pans, which I love, stoneware, made in Portugal, so beautiful. If you notice, the picture for the item is not correct. It's a different product by Casafina. For some reason, it's mixed up on the app. But since you're here, I'm going to go to one of my favorite things. <gasps> this is my probably, probably my favorite thing. Um, hi, Erin! Oh, Erin's one of my favorite Vera shop people. You guys have to check her out. So this is the Savannah. This is by Savannah Baskets. It's the open weave vase. This is handmade in Ghana, um, South Africa. And basically because it's handmade, you can see this detail work. It's so sturdy, it, but a little bit flexible. If for any reason this shows up at your door and has a little kink in it, which mine absolutely did not. It's just perfect. It says that you can apply some cold. Thanks, Erin. I'm having like a no makeup day. I hope that's okay. Um, I thought like I'm having a nice relaxing work from home day. And I was like, I'm just going to be completely me today. And that's going to probably be okay. So it does say that if you want to apply cold water to it, um, it's, the basket can re be reshaped by immersing or sprinkling cold or warm water on the part that needs to be reshaped. But if you have, if you purchase one of these with leather handles, avoid the leather, obviously. Then you just push out with your hand the part that's dented, and it can easily be reshaped. So what I'm going to be using this for, and I will post a video of it, is I propagated a fiddle leaf fig tree, and it's growing. It's about this big now, and so I got a little pot the right dimensions to put it in this because I thought that it would be so beautiful. But it is a vase, meaning it's it's a basket. You can use it for um, linens. You can use it for blankets. You can use it for knickknacks, pretty much whatever floats your boat. And it's so beautiful. And it's so much better to um, support these. It says Africa 
Handmade in Africa by Rural Women co Cooperatives. I think it's so much better to support these women than to buy another, you know, kind of fake Target rattan. It's not real. It's so cheap. This is so beautiful. So let me know if anybody wants me to go grab my fiddle leaf fig now and put it in. I can, but I figured that would be hard to show you. So I took it out. And it's just gorgeous. And before I put my fiddle leaf fig in it, I had it by my bed and I was just putting things like my eye mask and my, um, oh, I already said my eye mask, my stuff that I wear, my hair at night, my scrunchies. I was just using it kind of as, of, as a catch all, my socks and stuff like that. And it's just such a cute way to organize your home. So let me know if you have any questions about this. It's a really decent size. The dimensions are on the, obviously the product link um and so that will tell you more than i will be able to tell you off the top of my head but it's got this three um stripe detail and it's just gorgeous i love this so much this is my favorite thing but i do have a couple other things that i'm dying to show you so i will move on to those and let me know if anybody has any questions on anything that we've gone over already okay actually i'm going to save that for last so this is adorable. It's by Etitude. It is a waffle towel set and it comes with one large towel and one hand towel and one washcloth. It is so stinking soft. It's $54 during this live, which is a great deal. It's so beautiful. Thanks for the hearts. This is such a soft material. The waffle is like unlike any other. Oh, it's just so luxurious. Oh, this is so cute. Thank you. I love it so much. I'm just so into neutrals. Um, and this is great because it's not just white. It's got like this warmth to it. Also this texture. So this is going to look so good hanging on like a wooden hook. I just love when, and Vera Shop is great at this, when products become the landscape of your home, when it's not just like, oh, I have to look at my just my ugly towel because I because it's wet and I have to hang it up. If it looks so cute hung up and it becomes part of the decor and and part of the masterpiece that is your home, I just think that's so great. This is let's see what it's made of in case anybody's. Oh my gosh, it's clean bamboo. It's made of a hundred percent bamboo. Machine wash cooled with like fabrics on a gentle cycle. Line or tumble dry low. Avoid bleach and fabric softener. Dry clean is optional. I'm definitely not gonna do that. But it's made of 100% bamboo. I had no idea because it's so soft. So it comes with this body sized, it's almost like a blanket. Gosh, it is so soft. Then it comes with this gorgeous hand towel version. You see, and it has this bamboo cloth woven um hook it's perfect for a wooden hook i just really like like a very natural aesthetic lots of warm woods things that you the colors you find in nature are basically what i enjoy i don't know why i remember being a kid and being like why are human uh humans why are adults so boring like, i love bright pink and you know all the crazy colors and then you kind of grow out of that as you get older and you just want to feel like serene anyways that's a tangent but this is beautiful, so easy to hang up, so gorgeous. And then there's also this tiny washcloth version, which I had no idea came. I'm so bad at reading details. I just saw the, that it was a towel set and I got it. Um, so if you're bad at reading details, then these shows are great for you because you get to learn the details. But it also has that same hook. Um, for drying, I definitely would not wash, like I would wash my face with this today because I'm not wearing makeup. I would not wash my face with this when I have a full face of makeup on because I would not want to um, ruin it. That's just me, but to each their own. Again, it's by Etitude. It's so pretty, so soft, just so luxurious. It's one of those things that like you feel when you go to a hotel and it's just something that elevates your mood, something that elevates your day. That's what this does for me. It's so soft and it's so gorgeous. Anyways, let me know if anybody has any questions on that. And there is the washcloth. Is anybody watching anything good on TV? I always like to ask that. We just finished Only Murders in the Building. Right now we're on the new um, 
season of The Sinner and the new season of Morning Show and also the new season of Succession. And the, everybody is doing that thing again where you have to wait a week for the episode. So we have to keep cycling through. It's like, feels like 2002 all over again. I was about to type in the same show. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. What do you think? Did you finish it? I don't want to give away any spoilers, but I love Martin Short in that. Like he, and I love Steve Martin, but Martin Short. You finished it? Yes, me too. Oh my gosh. It's just so kitschy and it makes me miss New York. And, but Selena Gomez... I don't know. She's never shopping on her dish. And I'm just like, what is going on? <laughs> Martin Short is my absolute favorite. I love that you watched it too. Some people were like, it's too corny. I can't get into it. And I was just like, but it's like, it's legends. And New York City, I just love it so much. Um, I'm happy that it got picked up for a second season. That's very exciting. Yay. Um, you guys, anybody who's on here, Erin does such cute videos pretty much every day. Erin, is it every day where she lets her followers choose what her outfit will be inspired by, usually a film or a television show. And it's amazing how creative she can get. you got to check her out. Anyways, I don't know why I'm still showing you this. I am so behind that I have to catch up. Me too. Content creation. It's very easy to fall behind on when you have like you know, you, you have your job and you have a kid. Like that's so much stuff. Okay. Anybody have any questions on anything? I'm going to go to the last thing, but please feel free to ask questions at any point. So I'm a singer and, um, living in LA is, oh my gosh. When I turned 30, I started having to use a humidifier pretty much every night. I used to only need one when I was sick, but, um, this is by far the most comprehensive, I think would be the right word, humidifier that I've ever had. And I have never heard of this company before. So I just took a, I was like, I took a jump. I was like, I need a new one. My other one broke. Um, and it was white and it had a little bit of wood on the top. So I was like, that was why I chose it. But what's so great about this is that if you like essential oils, like I do, this, they're starting to make these now. A lot of the older models of humidifiers, I, I've never been able to do this before, but you can add essential oils directly into the reservoir, which I think is amazing. You can also set this on a timer, which I've never been able to do to a humidifier before, which is why I think my other one burned out. It would just kind of like run all night. So it's very comprehensive. It's not plugged in right now because it'd be hard. It has a, I will say that the only bad thing is the cord is kind of short. So I can't really show it too easily with it plugged in. But there is the power button. Where's the power button? There. And then you can choose if you want it at 50% or more humidity. And it comes out completely dry. So it doesn't, it, like nothing around it gets wet. It's like a very dry mist, which is really nice. You can set it on a timer. And then I haven't even used this button yet. It says heating because I probably won't want to use it. Um, I probably won't want like heated mist personally, but in case you like that, there's that. It is so easy to clean out. It does say that if you are using tap water that you should be wiping it out every week because otherwise mineral deposits happen and pl even plastic can start to get um, like weird and the texture gets weird, but isn't, that... <laughs> I used it last night, so it's dripping, but I have my handy dandy waffle set. So that's perfect. Um, is this not adorable? The top of it? I feel like this is just plain for aesthetic purposes and I love it. And then there's this little bit of dip in the top. So if there were to be any residue, um, or excess water, I should say it catches in this lid, which is so smart. Then you have the inside here. Hi, Adela! I haven't talked to you in so long. Your pictures are so cool as always. Okay, Indila, I saw something I think where you mentioned your age. You're in your early 20s. I'm so much older than you. I thought we were like, I thought maybe you were mid 20s so I could like pretend to be closer in age to you, but I'm just so much older than you. This is exciting. <laughs> Indila, I'm moving to New York in six months. Ah, we gotta hang out. You gotta show me how to be cool again because I forget. Um, as I show this humidifier, this is what the inside looks like in case anybody cares. I guess the main reason I'm showing this to you is that it can hold so much water. My husband and I, 
got really horrible colds recently. And so I ordered this right away and it's been very helpful. We run it at night. Now that we're feeling better, I've been running it for just four hours a night because I don't like to waste electricity or water. Um, and that's been really enough for us. And it's so helpful. So yeah, I've been doing a few drops of lavender, but if you're using a lot of water, you can't really smell it. So I would say if you want to use it as a diffuser, and a humidifier, less water, and more drops. But that can get expensive with the drops. So again, it's up to you. But it's nice that there is the option. I love that because I never run a diffuser and a humidifier at night because I'm like, that's so much work. <laughs> so this just makes it so easy. Very comprehensive. I'm just gonna show you the front again in case anybody cares. It's got the timer, the amount of humidity by percentage, a heating, option for like heated vapor and then the power button on off power yeah it's pretty great um I'm a huge fan like I said I'm a singer so I have to have a humidifier at all times what I also love about this is my old one kind of was um narrow it was very sleek and modern looking but it was very narrow at the base and so it would topple easily and spill like there's no way this is toppling over so this is a great design. I had never heard of this company. It's called Bear. I don't know where they're based, but I'm a huge fan. So yeah, I should probably make a video for it, but it's like, I don't know if that's lame to make a video of a humidifier, but I just feel like this is something I absolutely need in, needed in my home. And the fact that you can go neutral with these things, it helps them just sort of blend in. Yeah. Those were just my scissors. I don't even know why they were on my desk. Um, it helps it just sort of blend in instead of if you're doing, I guess if you have like a really dark uh, color aesthetic, if you're doing blacks or browns, maybe that would blend in better. But for, I would say the majority of what is trending for home decor with um, natural woods and minimal and bright or farmhouse or modern, any anything that's like home homey, woodsy, color, bright vibes. This just blends in. And that's that makes it really easy. If if you really want to see, I go all out. I don't know if I can bring this around. It's huge. I go all out with doing all of my appliances in white. This is a fan and an air purifier. Um, I always do white because I feel like that way it doesn't take away, it doesn't take your eye directly to it instead of, you know, that what you actually want to focus your eye on in the room. And it's not even about, I'm not an expert in this by any means. I'm just blabbering, but my sister-in-law is. She's an incredible interior designer. Her um, company's name is Lawless Design. She's on TikTok. She's huge on Pinterest. And so I kind of learned by watching her, but I think that your own personal style should should show through. I don't think it should be a thought of oh, where I want someone else's eye to go. It's where you want your eye to go. What makes you feel peaceful? What makes you walk into your bedroom and want to relax? What makes you walk into your, I don't have an office, but toward your desk corner and want to work? That's what um, I try to focus on. And I'm not like by any means adept in anything but I am pretty good at neutrals. I will say I've come a very far away in terms of neutrals. So again, as this live is coming to a close, I'm just going to show you everything one more time. Um, and I'm going to start with the open weave vase by Savannah baskets in case anybody missed this one. This is handmade by rural women in Ghana, Africa. And uh, so it goes, the proceeds go to the company that um, employs them. And it's just gorgeous, so sturdy. I'm gonna be putting my fiddle leaf fig tree in here. And I need to take a video of that so I can put that up so you can see it. Um, it's just gorgeous. And this is by far my favorite, my favorite Vera Shop purchase of the week. My other favorite one is super affordable. If you buy anything, you probably want to buy this. It is the Wooden Soap Dish by Soul Terra Shop. It is so cute. I initially thought I would want it a little bit lighter, but I actually cut, this is just my soap that's on it. I actually kind of enjoy that it's darker because it's different and it pops against my white shower. So there's that. 
Then the Casafina Fatoria individual cake pans. Ignore the picture on here. That is not what the product looks like. It looks like this. And they're, they're these adorable miniature cake pans. I think that these make a great gift. Um, I would definitely buy these for somebody who just got married or like an anniversary or a birthday gift to someone who loves to bake because it's a little fancy. This is handmade stoneware made in Portugal, I believe. Yep, made in Portugal. And if you can see, it's got like that country speckled aesthetic which I love and they're just very they're beautiful just that little bit of luxury again this goes with so many different kinds of home decor and what was the other thing I want to show oh, the cast the Casafina utensil holder is currently out of stock so I'm not even going to tease you with it I love it so much but I feel so guilty that no one else can have it right now because it's so gorgeous. And then of course, the Etitude waffle towel set comes with a body size, a hand towel size, and a um, washcloth, face washcloth size, and the humidifier. And I think that that's everything. Yep, that's everything. So that was my first home show. I hope that some people get to watch this back. If anybody has any questions on anything, you can always email me at brittanybertier at gmail.com, just the way that it's spelled in my bio. Actually, I should put it in my bio. Um, you can DM me on Instagram or TikTok. I love to talk to people about stuff like this. I want to serve you and bring you guys things and be able to answer questions on things that you are interested about. I'm always very conscious of um, prices. I don't like to 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 go too crazy and I'm also very conscious of materials and if things are made sustainably if it goes to a good company all stuff like that so if you're interested in learning about products and companies like that here on Vera Shop then I would love to take you along that ride my next show is going to be beauty I'm very very excited um but it's going to be keeping like a clean fresh beauty routine and look. So I'm going to be doing live for you a very minimal but beautiful sort of, um, what's the word, like glossy look. We're going to focus a lot on brows, brows and sculpting with a blush, a blush stick. And then I'm going to show you my absolute favorite pillowcase that I never sleep without. I, I cannot go back to cotton even bamboo cotton <laughs> pillowcases, I'm telling you. You don't want to miss that one, so keep an eye out because I'm going to be scheduling it very soon. I will be doing it before the end of this month, so hopefully it'll be within the next few days. And I missed you guys. I'm so happy to be back here with you. I hope that you're enjoying a wonderful fall season, and I just want to encourage you to take a moment for yourself today, whether it's just a cup of tea or reading a chapter of a book or just going on a stroll. Life is too short. We work too hard. Just do something for you. And I will see you back here in just a few days. Have a great day, guys. Bye.